What is up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Retro Hoop Collectibles. This is sort of a follow-up, kind of continuation of everything that's going on with this collector's SGC PSA sort of saga situation. Uh, I'll start off with a statement. And that statement is something that I am using going forward in how I collect and how I grade. And that statement is that at this moment, in my humblest of opinions, there is absolutely no reason to grade a single card with anyone else other than PSA. Now, I'm saying that not because I'm a huge fan of PSA. They've done some things to clean up most of the things that I've always disliked about them in the past. And they're, believe it or not, in the last two submissions that I've had with them, there's always this concept about there's that one oddball PSA 5 or PSA 6 that gets thrown into the mix of your submissions that kind of just leave you in dumbfounded, right? And of course, there's no grading report. There's no graders notes. There's no recourse for you to go back and say, hey, this is an ultra modern card that was packed, pulled. How did it get a six, right? You're kind of left to your own devices and really trying to figure it out. And, you know, I did a video on it. If you guys want to check that out, I got a random PSA six or a PSA five on one of my cards and I did a bit of a deep dive on it and turns out that I deserved that grade, believe it or not. I recently did another submission that I just got back. Um, where one of my cards, ultra modern card, great card, low numbered, hot rookie, um, came back and the card was damaged. Now, I don't remember damaging it. And the damage that was on the card was so significant that I'm pretty sure I wouldn't have missed that. But again, I didn't record a video ahead of time, which I do now, by the way. I record high definition video in low lighting with a flashlight, every angle, every corner, every surface, just so that I don't miss anything that's like right in my face. But by and large, there's really no reason to grade with anybody else. Why am I saying that? CSG, let's face it, for sports, don't even waste your money. What's the point, right? For TCG, you can make an argument, but for sports cards, for me, there's no reason to go to uh, C CGC or CGS or whatever they're called now. CGC, I think it is. The only thing that they got going for them is that they have a great, great slab. Their acrylic is like looking through, looking at a 8K movie versus a 720p, right? Um that's the only thing they got really going for them. Uh, let's face it. BGS is sitting in the corner of the sandbox at elementary school eating a bottle of glue. Uh, nobody knows what's going on with those guys. Um, and then there's a lot of ancillary little mom and pop spots. Uh, you know, I was looking up HGA and they're just dead. I mean, I, I was a huge fan of those guys. Um, for the fact that they serviced a very niche market, which was folks that wanted custom labels on their, on their cards. And then they are also the only ones that offer a horizontal slab. Uh, I'm still, I'm still a big fan of the way this looks. I mean, shout out to collect 3d prints, uh, who makes the, uh, stands for those, but, um, you know, they're still the only one that makes a horizontal slab. And so, you know, for various reasons, they've kind of fallen to the wayside as well because now you have to have a membership with those guys. And listen, uh, the HGA doesn't have that clout to be charging memberships for anything. There's no level of exclusivity that they provide that's going to give you any prestige and putting your cards in an HGA slab that would warrant me paying a monthly membership fee. Um, 
And then the fact of the matter is, is that if you do want a full-blown custom label, they're charging $75 for it now on top of the membership fee, which is ridiculous. Um, there's also all kinds of turmoil going on with that company. It's been bought and sold like five or six times. I don't really know what's going on with them, but the fact of the matter is, is that nobody's submitting to HGA anymore. Uh, there's a bunch of other, uh, you know, if you're into the fully automated AI grading, there's a few services in there. Tag is the one that jumps out at me. Um, there's also some smaller mom and pop setups, uh, you know, local places that you can go get grades that are, let's just face it, encapsulation services. There's no reason to send your cards anywhere in the world right now other than PSA. And I, and I don't say that lightly. So I've talked about all the other ones. Let's talk about SGC. SGC, I was a huge fan of for a number of reasons. I liked the way they graded. I liked the customer service. I liked the quick turnaround times. Didn't so much like the pricing was kind of rough. But what I liked most about them is that they were an alternative. They were a viable alternative to PSA. If you just flat out simply did not want to sub with PSA, you had an option. And I don't care what anybody says, that option was null and void the moment that they sold to the parent company, Collectors, uh, that also owns PSA. And a lot of people said, oh, you know, it's still going to, you know... There, there was this, you know, Peter did the whole videos about how nothing's going to change. We're going to continue to do what we're doing. This is only going to be great for the hobby. And I've said it several times. I don't really know how this can be great for the hobby when the one viable alternative that there was to grading with PSA is now owned by the same parent company. It's still my contention that they're not going to be around come 2025. Uh, they'll be dismantled. Uh, they'll move on. And a lot of you have said, I'm crazy, right? Like, oh, you're crazy. There's no way that collectors bought out that company just to do away with them. Uh, and, and I just, I, I don't agree with that. I, I, there's no reason for them to keep them around. A lot of people say, well, the biggest thing that SGC has going for them is this great reputation. Well, that's great. Customer service and all that stuff. That's all great. Vintage, the vintage spaces where things are really great. For SGC and that's great also but if you get bought out and your competitor all of a sudden starts doing $14.99 vintage specials essentially aiming at the one thing that you had subject matter expertise on that tells me that the company that bought you out is trying to close you out I'm a big so I was taught a long time ago long time ago don't Look at what I say, look at what I do. Don't look at what they say, look at what they do. And I don't care what anybody's saying. I'm looking at what PSA is doing. And what am I talking about? I'm talking about the specials that they got going on right now. There's a $14.99 vintage special, 1960 to 1979. There's a modern sports card special right now for $16.99. Both of those aimed in my opinion, directly at SGC. So what's PSA doing? There's no way that you can sit here and tell me that those two grading specials are meant to help SGC in any way, shape, or form. Why? Why would they do that? Right? They're not, they're not helping SGC. And I, I, I seriously think that this was... Maybe a version of their crack and resub with us type of scenario. I just don't see how anybody can sit here and really think that SGC is going to make it. And, and somehow that these two companies can exist under the same umbrella. For those of you that don't know or haven't been following my channel for very long. A large part of what I've done professionally has worked for a company that has been through a four-year phase of strict merger and acquisitions. The industry that I was in, I used to work for one of the largest companies in that industry, and they went through a four-year merger and acquisition phase where anybody that had any IP that was remotely useful, 
they were buying them up. And I was part of the team that was going in there to these mom and pop shops and implementing our processes and systems and telling people it was going to be okay. Knowing damn well it wasn't going to be. I see a lot of this whole SGC is going to remain, SGC is sticking around, SGC is not going to change. Yeah, that may be true in the short term. I just don't think they're going to be around in the long term. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Uh, this has been a really interesting last couple of months for the hobby. Uh, and so I'm just curious where you guys think things are going. And I'm curious what you guys think about my thoughts. Uh, we'll catch you guys on the next video. Oh, sorry we didn't do a live this past Sunday. We had a pretty big storm come through here and knocked out power in my house. Uh, right at the time that we were supposed to go live. So um, I do apologize for that. Well, I can't apologize for it. It is what it is. Mother Nature did what Mother Nature is going to do in the state of Texas, which is change its mind every five minutes. Um, but we're back on schedule for this upcoming Sunday. So please be on the lookout for that. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Love y'all. Peace.